If you're not using the freeze panes option in Excel, you're missing out. Freezing your rows and columns makes the review and comparison process of your data too simple to ignore. And before you write off the split windows feature as unnecessary or just a souped up version of freezing your panes, let me show you why you need to incorporate this Excel tool into everyday practice. Let's take a look at where we can find the freeze and split options in Excel. Within your worksheet, open up the view tab and in the center of the ribbon, you'll see a drop down icon for freeze panes and a small button to the right labeled split. If I open the freeze panes drop down, there are three choices. One to freeze panes, which are a cross section of both columns and rows. And the other two choices freeze either the top row or first column to the left. By looking at the sample of data, you can see that it's pretty large. If we were to scroll down further, it's not hard to imagine that we'd forget what each column of data represents in time. Since the first row of the sheet contains the headers, this is a perfect opportunity to freeze that row. Now it does matter where you are in the sheet. If I scroll down so my top visible row is not the headers, Excel will lock the visible row instead of your intended row. So scroll back up and then choose the option for freeze top row under the view tab. A new solid line is shown beneath our headers and as we look through the data, our locked rows move with us for easy identification. If you wanted to unfreeze the top row, simply open the drop down again and click unfreeze panes. But I'll hold off for just a minute. Let's say we want to lock our first column. That way when we move from left to right, we know which brand is associated with the values just out of sight. As you probably guessed, open the drop down and select freeze first column. Again, it matters which columns are visible. Notice the solid line that appears between columns A and B. As we move to the right, column A stays with us. But did you see that now our top row is no longer frozen? By using these two options under the dropdown, you can't freeze rows and columns at the same time. Even if you don't choose to unfreeze your selections in the ribbon, by locking a different axis in place, Excel automatically removes the other. So what if you wanted to freeze both the first row and first column? Well, that's when you'll need to freeze the pane instead. The set location points of your pane are dependent on the location of your selected cell. For example, to freeze the top row and top column, highlight cell B2 and select freeze panes. The pane shown by the two darker lines going up and down and left and right is plotted by any columns to the left of the selected cell and any rows above the selected cell. If you wanted to freeze the top two rows of your sheet and none of the columns, you'd highlight cell A3 and select freeze panes. Since there are no columns to the left of A, only the first two rows would lock. When freezing only columns, you can click on the entire column or place your mouse in the cell on the top row. Let's freeze the first two columns by unfreezing our pane and now highlight all of column C. Now open your drop down and click freeze panes. Everything to the left of column C will remain stationary as you scroll through your sheet. Okay, with freezing panes covered fairly well, let's dive into splitting windows. The split windows feature allows you to duplicate your data in one screen. This can be especially useful when working with data containing hundreds or thousands of rows. Again, the cell you've selected in your sheet matters. If your location is several rows and columns deep, you'll split your view into a four pane window. This has its uses, but for our example, let's reorder our columns to something more beneficial for this feature. I've already sorted the data by ranking, so let's add a sort on the brand name. I want to view the rankings of Asus products compared to other manufacturers. To do that, I'll select row 55 just below the last Asus listing and click split under the view tab. We now have two views on the screen. Now I can go through the data in the bottom window and compare the various rankings with ease. I know what you're thinking. This is basically the same as freezing your rows. In a way, you're right. But where freezing rows would lock everything above the ASUS products, the split option does not. In the bottom window, we found the rankings for LG products. If we wanted to compare those to Apple, which is listed above ASUS, you could simply scroll up in your first window and find that information still visible. This is just one example where splitting windows adds a nice element that freezing panes won't give you. Also, you can change the position of your split view by hovering over the split line in your sheet and drag and drop it anywhere you want. When you're ready to return to your normal view, just hit the split button again and it'll convert back to your standard appearance. One last thing I want to mention, you cannot split windows and freeze panes at the same time. 
By activating one, it'll deactivate the other. Can you see the benefits these features have? I use at least one of them every day to review my data. There are a number of different situations where you'll find one works better than the other, but all of them are worthy of your attention. So take the time to get to know them, and I promise you'll be all the better for it. See you next time, data people.